apparent reference to the PTI, PMLN chief organizer Mariam Nawaz has said that a terrorist party could not be allotted an electoral symbol as her party kicked off its poll campaign in Okara. <laughs> अपने हाथ में पकड़ा हुआ था वो डंडा जो तुमने पाकिस्तान की रियासत पर चलाया पाकिस्तान के आवाम की रोटी पर चलाया वो डंडा जो जिससे तुमने पाकिस्तान के जो हमारे पुलिस वाले बच्चे हैं जवान हैं उनके सर तोड़े उनकी हड्डियां तोड़ी तुम्हारे हाथ में बल्ला नहीं था तुम्हारे हाथ में डंडा था वो डंडा अब तुम्हारे हाथ से छीन लिया गया है The PMLN leader asserted that the nation would not allow a political party to manipulate its internal elections and escape without any consequences. Tum kya samajh rahe the ki tum intikhabi jo tumhare party ke election hai tumhari jamaat ka jo intikhab hai usme tum hera pheri karoge jaal saazi karoge aur patli gali se nikal jaoge ye ho kaada ke awam nahi hone denge. Her remarks come just days after the PTI was stripped of its iconic electoral symbols bat. After marathon hearings over the weekend, the Supreme Court had on Saturday upheld the Election Commission of Pakistan's decision to revoke the party's electoral symbol and reject its internal election just a few days before polls. On the other hand, PTI leader Barrister Gohar Khan said today that his party would not boycott the February 8th general elections despite being stripped of its iconic electoral symbol bat. अब खान साहब आज थोड़े घबराए हुए नजर आए या अभी भी नहीं खान साहब का यही मैसेज है सारे अपने वर्कर सपोर्टर कैंडिडेट्स को घबराना नहीं इनशाला आठ फरवरी को जीत आपकी होगी डटे रहना है अपने पुरमन रहना है कोई इश्तेहाल में नहीं आना डटे रहना है अपने वोट का हिफाजत करना है वोट का सही इस्तेमाल करना है आठ तारीख को ज्यादा से ज्यादा तैदाद में निकलना है इनशाला तीन दिन के अंदर अंदर हम आप अपने वेबसाइट पे फेसबुक पे ट्विटर पे टिकटॉक पे सबको इनशाला अपने ऑफिशियल पीटीआई के अकाउंटों से तस्वीरों के साथ आपको नुमाइंदे बताएंगे कि यही हमारे नुमाइंदे और ये उनकी जो है ना निशाना थे स्पीकिंग टू मीडिया पर्सन आउटसाइड दी डी एल आर जेल टूडे Barrister Gohar said the SC verdict had affected the fundamental rights of the people of Pakistan. Teen aham tha to teen member bench Supreme Court ka is case ko nahi sun sakta tha. Is case ko sunna tha Pakistan Supreme Court ke panch member bench ne. Isiliye kuch isme otherwise bhi factual aisi galtiyan hain jo hum samajhte hain ki ye Supreme Court ke paas review mein aana zaruri hai. To inshallah taala iske khilaf review bhi hum Supreme Court mein file karenge. Aaj wo bhi discussion hui hai. Meanwhile PPP chairman Bilawal Bhutto Zardari has said his party would approach courts over the prevailing trend in Punjab where party candidates were being denied the caro symbol Pakistan People's Party ka uh, intikhabi uh, muhim mahamara jo election campaign hai kafi arsha se chalta aa raha hai aur alhamdulillah ab hame election nazdeek nazar aa rahe hain hum Pakistan ke awam se जगह जगह जाके हम पाकिस्तान के अवाम का साथ मांग रहे हैं इसलिए पाकिस्तान पीपल्स पार्टी वो वाद जमात हैं जो अवाम पर अतम करती है जिनका मंशूर जिनका असूल यह कहता है कि ताकत का सर चश्मा अवाम है Addressing the media in Sindh today, Bilawal accused the PMLN of taking advantage of the rift between the PTI, ECP and Supreme Court by targeting PPP candidates in Punjab. Dusra mera ek siyasi masla hai jo Pakistan People's Party ko Muslim League noon ka jo Punjab mein intizamiya hai main aapko batana cha raha hu kis tarike se wo Supreme Court ka aur Election Commission ka jo PTI ke sath inke issues chal rahe the उसका गलत फायदा उठाते हुए वो अब पाकिस्तान पीपल्स पार्टी के उम्मीदवारों को निशाना बना रहे हैं नून लीग सियासत नहीं करना चाहते मुस्लिम लीग सियासी मुकाबला नहीं करना चाहते मुस्लिम लीग अपने मुखालफिन को अपने सियासी मुखालफिन को 
पिच से आउट रखना चाहते हैं और अकेला खेल नहीं चाहते हैं। Israeli forces bombed targets across Gaza on Monday as Hamas prepared to announce the fate of three Israelis taken hostage three months ago. The hostages were shown in a video clip over the weekend. In an overnight airstrike in Gaza City, 12 Palestinians were killed, with others wounded, and plumes of smoke rose above Khan Yunus, which was shelled by Israeli tanks. Fierce clashes were reported between Hamas militants and Israeli forces in Khan Yunus with tank barrages near the Alburi and Al Maghazi refugee camps in central Gaza. In Khan Yunus's Nasser hospital, seven people were killed and others injured in an Israeli missile strike nearby. Separately, in the central Israeli town of Ranana, two Palestinians carried out coordinated car rammings, killing a woman and injuring 12 others. Over the past 100 days since October 7th, Israeli forces aerial and ground blitz has devastated much of Gaza, causing at least 24,000 deaths and nearly 61,000 injuries. In the past 24 hours alone, 132 people were killed indicating a relentless intensity in Israel's offensive. The Israeli military has announced a shift to a more targeted phase, focusing on leaders and positions of Hamas in the south after the initial all-out offensive in the heavily built-up northern end of the Strip. As a result of the conflict, almost 2 million displaced people in southern Gaza are sheltering in tents and temporary accommodations, facing increased risks of starvation and disease due to chronic shortages of food, fuel and medicines.